Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how you can fuzz native Python libraries. And in particular, we will be looking at how you can fuzz uh, C extensions, C Python extensions. So extensions written in the C language for the Python uh, language uh, in order to capture memory corruption vulnerabilities. So here on the left, we are inside of the Docker image and I have already installed the, the Atheris, Python, uh, Atheris Python fuzzer. So we will go ahead and create a directory called native fuzzing and simply go into that directory. And over here, I have a C file, which represents a, a C extension of uh, for Python. And what we're going to do is we're going to also create a setup script for this uh, C code that does that makes it possible for us to call this C code from Python. And then we're going to fuzz this uh, function, which is called overflow here or method overflow here. And the hope is to find uh, a memory corruption vulnerability. So uh, inside of this method overflow, you can see here that there are various Python kind of like uh, words, pi object, which is a Python C type and some other Python specific um, API is a call and this is kind of like regular way of coding up a Python extension. I'm not going to go uh, too much into the detail with how you create a Python extension um, as I will leave this for yourself to study. And this is really, this video is really just to show and kind of like an end to end of having a Python fossa by way of Atheris and using it to find a, an overflow inside of this function. And we can see that this function first it passes a tuple and the tuple is a y star which is just a sequence of bytes that can also contain uh, null uh, no, null bytes and then also a unicode string here which is a file name and then what it does is it checks whether string is still null but string here will be set stir here will be set to the first argument that is passed to our overflow code and Afterwards, it will open a, a file using the file name provided from the argument. And then it will check here if the stir is equal to a nine A's. And if it is, then it will do a, a, so like a elementary uh, heap based um, write buffer overflow right here, because it will interpret the first four bytes of the stir argument as a pointer sorry, as, a, as an integer, which in this case, because it will all be A's, it will be 41, 41, 41, 41 in hex. And then we'll use that as an index into our array. And that will naturally be a, a overflow since we have array of an array of 10 bytes here. So if we can compile this extension with address sanitizer enabled and fuzz it, then the goal is to see if we can use Atheris to find the correct um, the correct argument to provide to our extension in order to and then use address sanitizer to capture the uh, o, uh, the overflow and just to make it uh, clear here in our python extension we declare a module and this module is called uh, voln and inside of this uh, voln module there will be a function called overflow and that is particularly our method overflow that you have here so in a, in a Python script, what you will, um, the way you would call into this module is simply something as follows, where you import vuln and then you call vuln.overflow and then you call it with a sequence of bytes and also a file name.txt. And in particular, if we call our overflow with the following bytes, uh, nine A's, sorry, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then this will actually trigger the overflow inside of the uh, in, inside of the native extension. So in order to, to uh, fuzz this library, we have to do two things. We have to uh, compile this native extension, and then we have to create a fuzzer for that native extension that runs it with address sanitizer enabled. Those are the two main hurdles that we have to uh, get around. Okay, so first we are going to compile the 
extension. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this native uh, extension and we will call it native extension.c. There you go. And we are simply going to save this. And then we are, have down here a setup.py uh, file, which is essentially uh, responsible for compiling our application. So the, the way you would com will compile an extension is a little bit different from how we are used to in that we need to use uh, various Python packages to compile the extension. And then those packages will be calling Clang with the various flags that we set. So we have to create here a file called setup.py. And there you go. And I just add a, an extra character here. And what this uh, module essentially does is that it just calls into uh, various packages in the distutils package of Python. And we use those in order to install our application. And we can see that it creates this vol module. And the C file that is related to that module is right here, native underscore extensions dot C. Okay, which is this file we just created. Okay, so now what we can do is we can call this setup.py script and it will install our application. But we want to force it to use if sanitize equals address. And we also want it to uh, link the, so we also want it to link the code that it compiles using Clang. So it's going to create a shared library that we can then uh, use as a, a native extension in Python. And we can do that exactly with this command right here. Ooh. As follows. So we set the compiler to be Clang. We set uh, if sanitize uh, on the C flags in, in order to compile it with address sanitizer. And then we also set uh, Clang to be the um, uh, the tool for linking the application. And then we are simply going to call setup.py and tell it to install the application. So we're going to run this. And we can see here the output shows us that when it did indeed compile our native underscore extension.c file here, it did use if sanitize equals address. And we can also see that it did um, in the linking, which happened here, it did the same and it created a shared library here called vuln.cpython. So what we can also do now is we can enter into our Python and we can say import vuln. But what we'll see now is that we have an undefined reference to an ASAN. Um, to an ASAN function, which is because the address sanitizer library itself is not compiled into Python. So we need to have the library that has the logic for address sanitizer when we load Python. And to do that, we need to use some utility uh, provided by Atheris. In particular, we need to preload various libraries with the, um, with the address sanitizer uh, logic. And to do that, we can do it as follows. And then we can now say import vuln and we're good to go in terms of getting uh, uh, lo loading up our vuln.overflow. So now we can say vuln.overflow and we can do as follows and hi.txt. And we can, uh, we need to create a bytes like object, so as follows, and we can see that nothing happened, but indeed if we give um, nine uh, uppercase A's, then we get an address sanitizer uh, report that shows us exactly where the uh, error occurred, which occurred in native extension.c on line 18, which was um, right here which corresponds to the uh, index that will now have a very wrong value because the four first characters here will represent a 41, 41, 41, 41 in hexadecimal, which is obviously an uh, incorrect index into our array of 10, uh, of 10 elements. And we gave it the exact uh, nine uh, characters here, which corresponds to the value that triggers the overflow. So 
this is how we now have kind of like a vulnerable native extension in Python. And we, ha we have now verified that we can indeed uh, fuss this. Uh, sorry, we have verified that we can indeed trigger the application. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show how to do this with a fusser. Before we actually write the fusser for our native extension here, I would like to just talk a little bit more about what happens, what happened when we did this uh, preloading of uh, various libraries. So essentially what we did here when we uh, call LD, uh, where we set LD preload before we launched Python in order to avoid undefined references to ASAN functions uh, was called, we, we called this command with the purpose of preloading a library called ASAN with fossa.so. And if we can see what this command does is essentially uses Python to print out a path. So it first calls Python and in, imports the uh, Atheris module, then it imports a different, uh, uh, so the OS module, and then it print, prints the directory name of the uh, path of Atheris, Atheris. So it essentially finds where on the system the Atheris fossa is installed. And inside of that directory will then be a, a dynamic library with uh, the ASAN logic. So let's just see here where this library is installed by calling the same command as, as follows. And you can see here that Atheris is installed inside of this folder. And if we look at what the content is inside of this folder, then we can see that there is a library called ASAN with Fossa, which is the logic that contains all of this address sanitizer code. And we also have the UBSAN, uh, some libraries with UBSAN logic, but no libraries with say MSAN logic. So we can use uh, address sanitizer as well as undefined behavior sanitizer uh, with our um, Python fuzzing with Atheris, but we can't actually use the MSAN sanitizers. This is likely to change in the future as Atheris becomes a more mature uh, fuzzing framework. Um, so essentially what the only thing we do when we call this uh, preload stuff is just to ensure that this <clears throat> this dynamic library is loaded in order to, because that has the uh, logic for all these uh, undefined references we have if we don't load it. Okay, um, so naturally you don't need to uh, preload this library in case you're compiling your extension without address sanitizer enabled. Okay. So now let's uh, let's uh, create a fossa for our uh, native extension. And we have that fossa right here. We are simply going to call it native underscore fossa.py. We copy it in as follows. And we can see that the only thing this fossa does is just it passes the uh, data from the fossa directly into the uh, overflow function. And it also just gives a file name here. And so what the goal is uh, of this exercise is to see whether the Atheris fossa will be able to uh, correctly uh, identify that nine uppercase A characters will trigger the um, will trigger the, the memory corruption issue down here. So we will use our uh, preload command from previously, simply take it from here. And then we're going to call Python on our native underscore fast.py. And we can see that it's running, it continues to run. And shortly after we can see that there was indeed a stack trace provided by address sanitizer. If we just look at the logic here, we can see that there are nine uppercase A characters in the, um, in the uh, crash dump. And we can see that it's a null character afterwards, which indeed makes this uh, string compare right here be satisfied. And if we go a little bit up, then we can see that uh, address sanitizers show us there is a, uh, this uh, sec fault is caused by a write memory access at uh, in method overflow, which is our method right here, and on line 18, which is right here. So we can see that the fossa correctly captures the test case. We can also look at the content of the uh, crash dump. 
and we can see that indeed the first nine characters correspond to uppercase A's and then we have a null pointer. So uh, what we just showed was that Atheris could be used to find a memory corruption bug in a native library, um, in a, in a uh, native extension for the for the pri uh, Python programming language. And that how, that's how you would have kind of like, a, this is like the simplest example of how you can find memory corruption issues in native uh, Python extensions.